tonight, the Blount County Sheriff's Office and communities still coping with the loss of Deputy Greg McCowan three weeks after he was killed in the line of duty. Somebody who's been there for Blount County the whole time through all this, Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler. Now, Sheriff Barong is trying to help Sheriff Spangler with his cancer diagnosis. Now, Jared Austin joins us in the studio. Jared, this is the first time we're hearing from Sheriff Barong since Deputy McCowan's funeral, where he's had a minute to process things, but still grieving the loss of his deputy. Now, more sad news as well. Yeah, he's not only thinking about himself coping with this, but everybody in the department figuring out exactly how to heal. Although that may never happen, he is thankful for people across the country that they're trying to help. A day Blount County Sheriff James Barong will never forget. February 8th, the day Deputy Greg McCowan was killed in the line of duty. Still having trouble sleeping. That's, that's one could uh, and think about my employees, but deputies, are, you know, and everybody has some survivor's remorse. Uh, it, it's hard, and I don't know when it will heal, what process we'll have to go through for it to heal, and it may never heal. There'll always be a void. Weeks later, people across Tennessee and the country trying to help Sheriff Barong and the department heal. One person who's really helped Barong, Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler. To have a, a shoulder to lean on or cry on is, is, is fantastic for us to relieve and get some frustrations out or, or asking why things happen and, and just to talk to him. And uh, I did that with him and, and he returned the favor with me. Both sheriffs talking a lot the last couple of months. Barong helping Spangler when Deputy Tucker Blakely was killed in the line of duty and Spangler helping when McCowan was killed. The network is just very humbling to see how much each other cares. Now the focus shifts to Barong helping Sheriff Spangler after the Knox County Sheriff announced he has pancreatic cancer. It just took my breath. He's been a great, great friend of mine, a great law enforcement leader. Uh, I can't say enough positive things about my friend. Not just a neighboring sheriff, but a close friend. Well, I love him. He's a, he's a, he's a class act guy. Now, we did reach out to the Knox County Sheriff's Office today just to check in on Sheriff Spangler. The department says they're grateful for all the support from the community right now, but they're focusing right now on his road to recovery, guys. And he was encouraging talking about it yesterday, so we do hope for the best. Jared, thank you. Appreciate it.